Hello everybody, this is Mega Amster, and welcome back to the Shantae and the Pirates Curse Amps plays. Uh, sorry about that noise in the background, because actually, um, I'm doing laundry right now, and if you're wondering why the background might, the mic in general might sound a little different, but that's because I'm on uh, fall break right now. Uh, in my college, we have a quarter-based system, so we have a, a little over a week off, and I think I mentioned that in my channel update if you watch that, and yeah. I have, like, a lot more time to record, so I'm going to be try trying to record, like, at least two parts a day. So I just want to get this playthrough done, because I feel bad, because I really haven't done many parts of this playthrough. And I started this at the beginning of September. So it's about time. This uh, Half Genie Hero is coming out this month, and I want to finish this up. So, sorry if the uh, background mic sounds a little weird, because I'm, I'm actually at home right now, as I was trying to say earlier. Um, and um, the, the washing machine in the background. I gotta keep track of that washing machine because if I don't, it's just gonna be perfect chaos and stations square all over the floor. It's gonna be disgusting. Honestly, it would be disgusting. Okay, so where did we leave off? We saved here, right? We saved. And I believe we were headed... Ah, that's right. Last time in part 10, we did this temple area. It wasn't the actual dungeon of Tainline Island, but it was the temple where they mistook us for their princess, along with Risky and uh, Roddy Tops and Sky. And we were given... Sorry, wrong menu. We were given the golden pickaxe in return. This could really speed up desert demolition. So what we should actually do is give these guys the golden pickaxe. What's this? A golden pickaxe from the princess? Can I have it? Pretty please? Yeah, sure, why not? Such incredible craftsmanship. We'll have this cleared away lickety-split. You gave the golden pickaxe. Oh, you hear that? Look how fast that was. Wow, with those ruins out of the way, I can see all the way to the horizon. And look at these chubby green birds. Ah, those aren't birds. Monsters, run! Run away! <laughs> Oh, I love not being around other people when I record now. I mean, I wasn't before, but now I can actually uh, do whatever I want. Oh, geez, these these people. I hate those. I hate these ones. The like the scorpion ladies. I always forget how to avoid them. Oh, that was so close! Holy crap! Got him. Okay, something. Yeah, there's something down there. Ooh, treasure, yay. It's always nice to find secrets. Uh, you see that purple colored block down there? Yeah, we can't actually get to that yet. We will be able to later, though. Just not yet. Oh, no! Ah! Crap, what am I doing? Got him! I love how those just flying squid things just explode. Oh, laundry's done, yay. I'm trying to remember, is that, do you actually die if you go in then? I guess you do. Okay, I'm not gonna find out. Oh yeah, we gotta look out for the archers. Yeah, the archers can be hard to avoid. So we're gonna use our pistol on them. Got him. Yeah, the pistol really helps in this section. Um, so we're gonna use it. Oh, actually, if we head down here, I remember this. Ever play New Super Mario Brothers? This is kind of similar to it. We actually find a secret area with a cackle bat. And now I, I remember we missed a cackle bat in that temple. Remember that? We missed a cackle bat back there. What are you doing? Get over here. Let me show you just what I'm made of. Come on. Okay, we're going to suck up that uh, dark magic. You know, I should actually head back to that temple and get the cackle bat before I forget. Before we start the dungeon, I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, that was bad. Okay, that was my bad. Oh, got him. Yeah, you know, we'll just skip all those guys. Because, I mean, seriously, who wants to face those guys? I still love this, this, uh... track. Oh! That was bad. Oh crap, okay, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. What do I want what do I want to use? Let's have a meat chunklet. Oh, that barely filled up anything. Let's have another one. Another one. DJ K Nuggets. Oh just flew right over, it didn't even matter. 
But yeah, actually, I want to head back to the temple. I want to get that cackle back before I forget, because I'm going to forget. And I think we can just head right into the main area, because... Yeah. Because why not, you know? I'll save on the way back. Yeah, it's right over here. Suck up that dark magic. Because we already actually... We defeated that cackle bat last time in part 10. This is part 11, right? Yeah, this is this has to be part 11. I mean, the fact that we're part 11, we're already this far in the game is pretty good. So we're, we're, we're going at a pretty good pace here. That didn't even take that long. That's good. Well, I think it's about time we actually head towards the dungeon. Um, we just continue going on that path that we were going on earlier before I turned around to get the dark magic, but... Yeah! Okay, I have no idea what the mic's going to sound like in the background. Um, the next several parts after this should not sound this echoey. It's pretty echoey in my kitchen right now, because I'm, I'm making sure that the washing machine runs okay. Um, so, oh, nice, that was close. So yeah, it's for now, like, for the parts 11 and 12 are going to sound a little uh, echoey. Um, just so you guys know, that's just because... Like I said, that washer machine, it's disgusting. Um, but yeah. Okay. Oh, this guy heads towards me, I see. Can I fly over this? Hey. But yeah, so, um, like, so probably part 13 on. Oh, no. What? What is, oh, no. What is this? What is this? Oh, I see. You can just... Yeah, that can happen. To oh, look at that backflip. Maybe that was the recovery move. Crap, what am I doing? Jeez, I'm, I'm doing terribly. I'm so sorry. This was not planned from the beginning. Ooh, I'll take that heart. Now, I believe this should be the dungeon. So let's head in. And... Yep, the Lost Catacombs. Okay, that's what it's called. Okay, now, see that, uh these purple blocks, we're actually going to be able to destroy those once we get the dungeon item. So, I'm going to head left first, just to see... Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. These platforms... Uh, spikes uh, alternate from being on and off. Okay, these guys are annoying. Bubble shield? Oh, that's always good. Yeah, let's head over here. Let's see what's over here. Oh, hello, old man. Can let me save. I hope at least. Will you let me save, please, mister? Save me! Okay, I'm not going to bring that up. <laughs> uh, no one needs to hear that song right now. Ooh, is this a secret passage? Ooh, we can head in here. And what have we got? Hey, we got the map. Nice, the Lost Catacombs map. I'm just going to adjust the mic for a second. Sorry about that. And here we go. The red rooms are save rooms. Okay. Well, what is that thing? You know, I can use the pistol. Not the slicers! They're literally slicers. Why does everybody copy Sonic? Come on. First Mario and now Shantae. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding about the Mario part, by the way. Um, no, I'm not. Um... Well, if you count mobile, yeah. <laughs> Sonic did that way before Mario, because, I mean, Super Mario Run's coming out, what, later this year? And, I mean, Mario pretty much... Oh, okay. Got him. Mario pretty much copied Sonic, not, not gonna lie. But, I mean, Mario copied everybody, because Nintendo's trying to enter the mobile market, and the mobile market's huge. Sega knew that way before Nintendo did. Because Nintendo didn't want to resort to the mobile market, pretty much. And now they're like, you know what? We can get a huge audience from that. Mitomo didn't really work out. I had it for like the first month when it was out, and then I got rid of it. Um, but, of course, Pokemon Go is a huge success. Um, it's been dying out lately. I'm still playing it on campus because... Oh, playing that game on college campuses is so fun. There's just so many Mon to catch. You know, you gotta catch all the Mon. Okay, well, we can't... Oh, we can actually... Over here. Okay, that was close. Um, 
We could head either down or up. I'm gonna head right. Wait, wait, down or up? What am I saying? I'm gonna head up from here. I'm gonna start up and then head downwards. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. I'm going to eat. Let's have a bento box. Oof, nice. That filled up a lot of health. That was good. That was good. Oh, my goodness. Squidward. Hey, monster milk. That's always good. Ah, oh, there was no way I was going to avoid that. At least no way I could think of. Okay, let's see. No, let's just try heading this way. I want to see what's over here. Yeah, the pistol really helps in this dungeon. Nice. Nice. Nice! Two keys. Look at that. The key to success. Oh, jeez. Not this... Ugh. These enemies are so hard. I don't know if there's really a good way to take them on, you know? Oh, well. <laughs> I guess like that. That works. Okay, cool. We got we have two keys. Um, we actually cannot head down. Um, once we get the dungeon item, we'll be able to head downwards through those purple blocks, but not yet. We'll probably be able to get the dungeon item in this part. Okay, now this is all about timing. Because if you go too early, obviously you're going to get hit by the spikes on the top platform. If you go too late, you'll get hit by the spikes on the platform you're already on. Okay. Well, we're back up here, and we don't want to be back up here, so I'm going to head back this way. Just going to head back down. Okay. Nope. Keep going. How about this way? You know, we're going to keep heading down. Oh, yeah. That's not fun. Oh, this headset hurts my head. Okay, well, we can unlock this door. What exactly? Okay, that lifts up a block, which will allow us to shoot one of those things. The question is, how do we get over there? Oh, yeah, we could head down that area we were at earlier. Okay, that's what we got to do. But, yeah. Yeah, I really like this game, if you haven't been able to tell yet. It's a good game. Um, Risky's Revenge is okay. This game is way better than Risky's Revenge. But now... Got him. What does that do? Oh, you probably have to hit both. You probably have to figure out how to get to that. Okay, that's what we gotta do. So I'm gonna head up. At least that's... What you ha you're gonna ha Yeah. Right? But the problem is, didn't I try heading down in this room before? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Okay, well, there's the problem. Not the slicers! Anybody watch some Call Me Johnny? Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> there we go. We can use the other key. There we go. Now we're looking good. When did I find out about some Call Me Johnny? Definitely through his Sonic reviews. Because, um, of course, I'm a pretty big Sonic fan, as you've probably heard me say before. Um... Yeah, his his videos are really good, but oh, I've been so behind on my my YouTube inbox lately. Like, yeah, why not? Um, I'm literally like a month behind on YouTube, and I'm I got his reviews to watch. I mean, he doesn't upload all the time, obviously, but he's been doing a good job of uploading weekly lately, which is good. But okay, so we don't have any more keys, so we need to head left. I highly doubt we're going to finish this uh, this uh, dungeon, I should say, in this part. In fact, I guarantee you we won't. Because we got about... Whoa, okay. We've got about... Um, six, five and a half minutes left. Okay, I'm going to head right, because I think this is where our dungeon item will be. Oh, well, those are just hearts. So we're not going to get anything from that. Because we have full health! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, this should be... Yeah, this has to be the dungeon item. Here we go. We got Risky's Scimitar, not sword. Notice how it's Scimitar. When in the air, press the Scimitar button to break through blocks. I'm trying to remember which... Is it the right trigger? Nope, left trigger. Yep, okay. 
So pretty much what Risky Scimitar does is it lets you do like a ground pound type of thing, which can allow us to break these blocks. And you can keep just going like this. In fact, it's kind of like Scrooge McDuck's uh, pogoing on his cane, if you think about it. I gotta, I gotta play DuckTales Remastered at some point. I mean, that's also way forward, and I mean, way forward makes some great games. I, and I also have to figure out when the actual release date for Shantae Half Genie Hero is. If any of you guys know, let me know in the comments because I'm so confused because I don't know if they've actually even had like an announcement about an official release date yet. So if you find out, let me know. Okay. Got him. Okay, we're gonna go through this room. We're gonna navigate through these, all these different platforms and stuff. Avoid those bats. Hey. Oh, what you can do is you can use Risky Scimitar to actually. Oh no! Um, you can actually use Risky Scimitar to activate these, to spin these platforms because it counts as an attack, um, which comes in handy. But yeah, uh, let's head this way. Let's try this again. Oh, I... Twice in a row, are you serious? Oh my goodness. This is getting way out of hand. <laughs> uh, third time's the charm, hopefully. Hopefully. Get a brother relate. Well, I mean, if that's how you're gonna be, then... Yeah, I gotta stop with the John Tron references, okay? I know I do. I know it. There we go. Third time is the charm. Good. And that gives us a key, which uh, we saw a locked door earlier. Um, we can actually use that key on the locked door. Now, I should probably save it and stop the part. Okay, we're 17. Actually, there was something over here. You know what? Um, yeah. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. This isn't where we want to go. We want to head up and to the left. By the time we get over there, it's probably going to be too late. You know, into the part. So you know what? I'm just going to end it off here. But... Uh, I'll save it one more time. There we go. So you guys know I saved. I did it. Don't worry. It's there. There's your footage. But, um, yeah. But, um, tsh. But, um, tsh. That's what you say. When someone says, but, um, you go, tsh. To end it off. But, either way, that is it for this part, guys. So I want to thank you a lot for watching this part. Um, if you liked what you saw, if you liked the washing machine in the background, I mean, I mean, whatever you like man i don't whatever then uh leave a like down below and if you want to keep up to date with this playthrough you know, subscribe because i'm definitely going to be recording a lot more in uh this upcoming week not well because it's i'll probably be uploading this on the friday the day i'm recording um uh, but next week like monday through friday i plan on recording like all day pretty much um well two parts a day that still adds up to a lot and we could potentially finish this game um Maybe not finish it, but get very close, I think, at least. But I'll be uploading a lot more often now. Um, for at least the next couple of weeks or so. But, yeah, that's it again. Uh, feedback down below in the comments, like usual. And next time, part 12, we will be finishing off the Tanline Island dungeon. And probably doing some other stuff, too, because... Yeah, it's not going to take us a whole 20 minutes to finish off this dungeon. We're almost done with this dungeon, anyways. The dungeons in this game aren't that long. Um... But yeah, so thanks guys again so much for watching, and uh, got those pile of skulls in the background, that's kind of freaking me out, man. You know, just like those, uh, I mean, it's Halloween, so I should probably sing it, shouldn't I? Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down, it's 420. Boop, 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 boing. Okay, how do I actually stop the recording? Once uh, I get to, uh, oh, there we go!